Hi everyone, good evening. My name is Hari and welcome back to the channel Silicon Valley Blog. I'm a software engineer and welcome to this channel. So uh, this is your channel and thank you so much for your all support. And uh, you subscribe my channel, thank you so much for this. So uh, today's what we are doing, uh, because we just finished with the React.js series and working with server parallel projects, so I'll, I'll do the showcase for you. But uh, let's let's dig deep some JavaScript concept today, and uh, we'll go uh, with you know one question so we will take today that is how to add key value pair in JavaScript object. So what I can say here is oh <laughs> let me let me see. So what is what is our uh, input is given? Uh, so input is given this object, okay, and. Uh, this object is having first name and last last name. Okay, so let's suppose this is the input. So let me let me go here and let me put it outside. And now we can. This is the input is given. So we'll go like uh, interview scenario. Uh, we are having input is given for this, and uh, what is the output it, it should be? So here uh, I'm having. Uh, a object and inside that I'm having one key value pair so I'm having one key value pair and uh, the requirement from my side is to add one more key value pair that is last name because first name is already given and I would like to add one more key value pair that is last name and last name would be Mohan my name would be Mohan my first name is Hari second name is Mohan okay now our middle name is Mohan but it is last name you can consider now we can see uh, and now if, if we are doing the console uh, console.log now we can see in the, the log uh, the object would be first first name uh, with the key value pair is Hari Mohan second sorry first name is Hari and last last name is Mohan okay and how it will be you know showcase for for us so let's see uh, it is showing Hari dot uh, Hari 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 it is showing Okay, and this is this is the object, and we are having many prototypes for this. Why these prototypes are using uh, to add uh, some extra properties or more properties for this? Let's see now. Uh, so, what is my first approach uh, in uh, if, if we are doing progress in in these questions? So, what is my first approach? We we can use dot notation. So let's see. Uh, so what is what is the requirement? Last name we have to add. So let me go, let me uh, cut this and first approach will go with dot notation and what dot dot dot, dot, dot notation says it says uh, you can tick the object first because uh, the object that you would like to add the value you can take that object and give the dot and now your required value. Uh, key value so now we can say my required value is last name and what will be the value for this this is the key you have added uh, you have attached the key here and what, what you would like to add is uh, as a value you would like to add a value as a Mohan so now we can see and this thing is done for us so let me remove that the spaces and let's see that's cool and now we can say uh, here if uh, and we have used here dot notation so this work is done and let's see the output uh, the acquire the require output uh, we you know needed it is it is coming or not so now let me refresh this and now we can see the require output is coming first name is uh, Hadi uh, and uh, last name is Mohan it is coming two key value pair we are having first first is uh, you can say first name uh, that is Hari and uh, second key value pair is last name uh, Mohan okay so that work is done by by this dot notation okay let's suppose uh, we would like to do uh, other we would like to use other approaches As once you are going with the you know senior 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 developer role so you should know uh, many approaches if uh, one thing is not working with one, one solutions you should go and you know approach other solution for this so this this is a good thing to uh, you know uh, know and you know you can uh, put uh, 
you know good effort in your team that, that, that's good thing so let, let's see here i remove this so what i will cut now and i would like to use the bracket notation uh i would like to use it is not bracket we are a ckt bracket notations so now now let's see what i would like to use same thing i would like to use i would like to repeat this last name so now we can say object and uh, i i would like to use the bracket notation so let's give a bracket and here uh, the things that i would like to use is my last name okay and the value of the last name is you can give a single quotation or double quotations as there's no harm move on okay and now let me console are we getting the same result that previously we were getting is it or not are we or uh, why i'm doing save okay so let me do some indentation that is okay and let's see so now let's see uh, we'll refresh this page and last name is not defined it is saying last name is not defined so i i've done some mistake right what mistake i've done now let's see now it's saying right so now we can say uh, my uh, first first name is hari last name is mohan that is okay that is done so we have we, uh, we have you know uh, checked here two two methods one is dot notation other one is bracket notation when we are using the bracket notation let's suppose we are having i would like to add <coughs> space in that and now we can say but uh, while using dot notation we can't we can't read this kind of you know uh, uh, string that is having spaces so let's see now so it is still a hari mohan and we will see with the dot notation if you would like to you know uh, you are curious to know that then we will we'll see with the dot notation this will work or not let me command this will and command that no problem so now let's see uh, last name it will throw it will so it, it will throw an error now now you can see if i if, if you are having a you know uh, key like that then uh, you can to add and it will throw some error and the error it will say is uh, unexpected un unexpected identifier it is a syntax errors okay now it is syntax error so uh, we already know we now got to know uh, we can take care of this kind of scenario with bracket notation with bracket notation now now let's see uh, let's remove this now and now we can see third third method will go with the spread operator so we are having a spread operator and now we can say same requirement will go and we'll put this here so uh, what we can see here now what 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 we would like to add first first we'll create a uh, I, I would like to add this uh, last name uh, mohan as a key value pair hari uh, so first name would be hari and second uh, last name would be uh, mohan last name is mohan that's okay now we'll say uh, i would like to use a spread operator here so first uh, i'll say new obj new object and i would like to spread my old object here okay so my now we can see this whole value we are getting here if you are doing the console and now 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 you can see we are doing the copy of this okay we are doing the here we are doing this here now i would like to add one extra value here right and that is what that is my last name that is my last name here i would like to add and i would like to give some value to my last name and what 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 would be the last name uh, i would like to give the value is that is 
Mohan. Does it work like that? Because okay, not here. Oh, sorry, uh, not here. Oh, <laughs> not in that. Here, we'd like to add. So now we can say uh, last name is Mohan. Last name will be Mohan. I'll type. And now uh, what I can do is yes. Now if you see uh, this first name, what I'm doing object. And now you can say first my OBJ is having first name and now, now let's see what we are having in uh, new object. Yes, and let me console uh, that also. So, so you will be having a comparison uh, between two objects. So this is old one and now. The first name and we are having uh, this last name. Now we are having the third method that is object dot assign method. So this object is saying, right? Uh, I would like to assign something. <laughs> it, is, it is like that, right? So, uh, you know, uh, give a, a good example so you can, you know, understand. So they, JavaScript side or people will uh, these uh, pe uh, the people or team who made this they have given name is assigned okay so now they can say you can you know assign a new value <laughs> okay so or you can you know put a new value so let me command this let me command that and let's go here so object dot assign now what what we can see here now uh would like to uh, use first this object dot assign so we'll go object and object is having assign method okay because this method is already created somewhere uh, somewhere else so now we can you know direct, directly take the values so first i what what what, what i would like to do so now to just go with this definition and what definition is saying copy uh Copy the value of all enumerable own properties from one or more source object to target object and return a new targeted object. So now we can say parameters we would like to give. So why I'm saying parameter, why, why I'm not saying argument that you can you know uh, take care because uh, this object is created somewhere else. That's why I'm saying parameter. If I create my function or method, then Sorry, this, this this function is created somewhere else. That's why I'm saying parameter. Uh, okay, <coughs> and it is it is attached with object. So that's why it's, it's a long story. That then let's see. Now what I would like to use here, I would like to use the new value. The object is there. I would like to new value and what new value is uh, last name and last name would be. Single code you can give. Uh, there's no harm. Last step would be open. And now, if I if I do uh, console to remove yes obj and now we can say we are getting the same result. And last, last thing we are having your uh, object dot define property methods we are having. Okay, one more uh, object properties we are having that is uh, method we are having that is object dot object dot define properties. So we remove that. Requirement is same, but approach is different. And now let, now we can see. So uh, let's see. We will copy this, we paste this, and now we can see object dot define property. Okay, one property we would like to uh, define here, and what we can 
so what object property is uh, uh, is you know saying here uh, what is the meaning of, of defined properties object on which add or modify the properties it is like the meaning this this can be a native javascript object uh, that is a user defined object or built in object if user we can uh, you know uh, as as a user we we can uh, as a, as a user, we can build our object, or it is uh, you know build build object from JavaScript side. So both both approaches it will be working. So now let's see. Uh, first is we will take that is our object, and now we can say we would like to uh, use uh, would like to use what. Uh, last name okay and would like to assign some value to the value will be Mohan and will give some properties we are having uh, some property like uh, write table they can, these are uh, we can say uh, some properties uh, from this method write table and this will be uh, it, it, it will give the boolean value now we can say false and we are having some properties like enumerable enumerable we can do true we will take care uh, we will discuss all the things once we are digging deep javascript object and this will be true okay now let's see uh, what we can get if we console.logopg console.log obj these are properties where we can say writable can be uh, uh, <coughs> it is writable it is saying it false uh, it is enumerable it is true it is configurable it is uh, it is true so let's see now now we can see uh, this is Hari and Mohan and now uh, let's see we'll, we'll go with these uh, writable javascript writable object javascript so object properties uh, it is saying that is uh, we will go from here okay so uh, some properties where is enumerable enumerable if true the property shows up during the enumerable properties on the corresponding object and uh, writable if it is true the value associated with the property may be changed with the assignment operator default is false so for this and enumerable and we are having configurable so when this is set to false is it means the type of the property can't be changed between the data property and, and Assessor properties and the property may not be deleted. Other attribute in descriptor cannot be changed. So this you can read. Okay, but we we are done with our approaches. So uh, thank you so much for this. And you know uh, we have done the discussion and uh, with with the within you know, all approaches. And now what I can see here is. this is the things uh, so we have seen with the dot notation we have seen with bracket notation we have seen with the spread operator object assigned object not defined properties we have used and we we have covered the question how we can add a key value pair in javascript object thank you so much for watching this video we will see you in the next video bye bye take care